I get this question quite a lot. How strict are the examiners? Oh, how can I say this? Uh, very strict. And I mean very strict. Uh, now, they've got to be. You've got to think of it this way. They have got a 40-minute time scale to judge how you're going to drive on the road every day. So let's say, for example, you've got a really nice examiner and you come out of the street and uh, the car coming on, well, let's say you turn left, coming out of the side road and the car approaching you from the right has to brake very harshly. Could have gone into the back of you. Now, if your examiner lets you get away with that by saying, do you know what? Good drive the rest of it, but that one, do you know what? Just don't do it again, okay? Just don't do it again. Now, you're not going to feel like it's that harsh, right? So you're going to think, oh, I can get away with that one. I'm going to be a better driver. I'll be able to come out of them junctions quicker. No, you won't, right? Because how do you know what speed that car's going properly? They could speed up. Even if they speed up, it's still your fault. You've turned in front of a vehicle. Uh, and let's say you come out and you get a bit cockier every time you do it. And then all of a sudden you pull out and you wipe out a family of four, nearly killing yourself. And let's say you survive. Now, the examiner is partly to blame for that. So because he's let you get away with it and you've felt a little bit cocky, you can do it. And I'm not saying it would happen, but there's a good chance it could happen if, for example, you think it's OK to do that things and your examiners let you off with a kind of a, a verbal tongue lashing, for example. So they are tough and they are tough for a reason, because these roads are the worst roads you are ever. Uh, parents, for example, have had it easy compared to this. Right, because parents had it maybe 20, 30 years ago or even more, uh, and the roads were a damn sight better place than they are now. There is a bucket load more of cars on the road now, so there's a lot more. And the worst thing, and this is the worst thing, and if you look at my videos, you'll see it attitudes. Attitudes of driver absolutely stink. And I'm going to say 90% of drivers, unfortunately, are like this because everybody's arrogant. Everybody's racing around. Everybody leaves 10 minutes late, thinks they can make the time up. Uh, bad parent driving in the morning. They're one of the worst. Yes, I'll say it to you, parents are the worst because not all, but a lot of them leave late, race to the school, and God help you if you are going 30 and a 30 or 20 and a 20 and they're late for school. It's not your fault. It's that parent for being and getting up too late. So set your alarm earlier. Come on, guys. Stop being such a, a, a lazy person and get out of bed a bit earlier. Uh, yeah, I'll say that because then they bring that arrogance onto the road. So, guys, you are being tested to a higher standard than any parent has ever been tested before. Not just theory-based, but also practical-based as well. Uh, so when you get on these roads, uh, but again, with enough practice, I've just had a client this week, Joel, fantastic drive. Uh, he has just passed with one minor doing his test at 20 past eight in the morning. Now, that is one of the worst times you could probably take it. Uh, it's not a case of people say you're sat in traffic because you could be sat in traffic. Yeah, I'm not saying you couldn't. But you've got things like coming out of junctions, blocking yellow boxes. There is a whole bunch of hazards that you would not get in the middle of a day when the traffic's a lot lighter. So for him to pass with one minor just proves uh, that if you train enough, if you follow the advice of your instructor, uh, and if your instructor is good enough, uh, you should be able to get these results. OK, so they are tough with you guys for a reason. They are trying to trying to uh, judge you as a better. But like I say, if you've been taught correctly, doesn't matter how tough they are. All you're doing on test day is showing off. You're showing off how good you can drive, how safe you can drive, and how much you are allowed to go on the road because of your driving ability. So show off, show them, and show them how good you are. And then no matter how tough they are, you're going to pass. Okay, guys, see you on the next video. Press it, like it, let's hear your comments, right? And I'll see you on the next one.